Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Adrian Monk from the World Economic Forum. Delighted to welcome you to this launch of Connect Americas, which is an initiative of the IADB in partnership with a number of companies, including Google. I have with me uh, Luis Alberto Moreno of the, uh, of the IADB to introduce the concept behind Connect Americas and uh, explain a little uh, the background to the initiative, and also joined by Adriana Norena from Google, who can talk about some of the technology that's powering it and driving what we hope will become a very successful platform for connecting uh, Latin and South America's entrepreneurs and uh, small and medium-sized businesses. So without further ado, I'm going to ask any English speakers to put on their headphones, and uh, that's probably me, I have to say. <laughs> and uh, we'll be conducting the, the uh, press launch in Spanish. And I'm going to ask uh, Luis Alberto Moreno to explain a little bit about the background to this initiative and what it hopes to achieve. Sir. Well, thank you very much. First of all, I would like to uh, salute all of the members of the main table. Connect Americas is a platform that we have been thinking about for a long time over a year and a half to be exact, because the IDB is actually an institution that can call upon both the public and private sectors as well as development agencies and export agencies and the ch com chambers of commerce. And within the last few years, we've had great influence over the SMEs. We have Connect Americas will actually allow for the connection of many SMEs within the region. Many of the SMEs in the region represent about 60% of the employment and nearly 90% of the businesses in the region. If we think about what is the challenge that we find in this region in terms of productivity, the challenge is faced mostly by the SMEs which is something that is also similar to what is faced by the large businesses in the region. But the challenge in terms of productivity is six times greater for SMEs. Uh, we are well connected and thanks to cell phones, Latin Americans have about t 110 cell phones for every 100 people. If we think about it, some of the cell phones that we have are smartphones, others are not, but the, cl the truth is that about 75% of our cell phones will be smartphones within the next years. Brazil is one of the countries that dedicates most of uh, their most hours to the use of smartphones. It's almost 900% of the usage of uh, smartphones comes from our continent. That means that we're a highly interconnected continent. That's why Connect America wants to make this region the core of its platform. We are building on three main pillars. One is connection, and this means that we would like to connect with the community of professionals in the different industrial sectors for these professionals to be able to connect with their possible vendors, clients, investors. And we would like to recommend that each of them could use the best possible way to communicate within this network and within this community where they will be able to talk to one another, understand the needs of all. And that's why this is one of the fundamental pillars of what we're doing. We have thought about the transparency related issues for many months. Also, we've thought about responsibility, our reputation. So we're verifying the users to ensure that they use the best possible filters for this purpose and not only understand how the connection is being made, but also the transparency of the same. We also have the learning component, which uses practical information on how to improve 
the knowledge that we have uh, about international business. This includes articles, interactive databases, logs, videos, online trainings, access to video streaming or online streaming, which is something that is done today in the different industrial sectors so that they can support the work that is being done by all these communities. We have a compact that we created for the food industry. For many years, the development bank has been working with the LAC flavors, which is basically working with the industry that produces food and how this can become in the international industries. The third pillar has to do with financial topics. And basically what we would like to explain here to the different communities is how they can uh, interact with the different financial actors, the different investors in the different countries where they operate. There is information about the financial support and the technical cooperation given by the bank through the uh, Inter-American Corporation for Investment and the investment funds. There are other programs that are supported by the governments, both on the public and private end. So in summary, what we can count on today is that thanks to the support that we get from Google, DHL, Alibaba, and Visa, we have four important partners that are our main partners that are supporting this initiative. These are partners that have a set of experience uh, from the logistical, financial, technological part, and they can help us to integrate with one another far more. The idea is for you to get to know this platform, which is already online. We have conducted several tests throughout the last couple of months, and outside this room for almost a week, the number of users has increased. Thank you, Adrian. This is really something that we have a lot of faith in this project, and we believe that without a doubt, it will allow for the globalization of the SMEs, and as they become globalized, the trade in the region should generate a growth, so a source for growth that is very important. When we compare this region to Europe, we see that the trade in Europe is three times what we find in Latin America, which is 20% of the overall global trade. So 50% of world trade occurs within this region. That's why we need to be a part of this value chains. And we know that this platform will help accelerate that process. So thank you. Four million or so small and medium enterprises across the region. It's quite a technological challenge to help support a platform that can bring all of them together. And uh, Google have taken up that challenge. And joining us to explain a little bit about how that's working and how that support will uh, make itself felt is Adriana Norenya. And Adriana, can I ask you just to uh, explain a little bit more about how the platform works and maybe tell us a little bit about who is using it currently and, uh, and what you're experiencing from having just launched it? Mm -hmm. bueno, well, thank you. I was coming here yesterday thinking about the history. I'm a bit of a romantic. I wanted to talk about the romantic side of Connect, Connect Me America. And what a better place for that than Panama. I was coming from the airport and thinking, why? Well, there cannot be a better place to do this than Panama. Let's think about the great fact that makes Panama famous, and that is the Panama Canal. And when we think about what the Panama Canal does, we see that basically it joins two different oceans, the Pacific and the Atlantic, and this opens doors to an international world, and this is aligned with what Connect America has in mind, and that is to open the door for SMEs to the world, to international trade in a way that they will become more competitive, and obviously makes it a lot easier and a lot cheaper for them to interact with the international community. So I was thinking about all the material that we that was digged up 
to build the Panama Canal if we put one train right next to the other that will go around the world several times. And I think that's a basic objective of Connect America. Connect America is based on two main premises. The first one, assumptions. The first one is that there is an opportunity that has not been yet uh, taken by the SMEs in the region to reach international markets. And just to give you some figures, that is uh, 4 million SMEs in the region that give about that represent about 90% of the companies in the region a little over 50% of the employees employments or jobs in the region but only 10% of those jobs are exported and that shows what they represent for the international market the second assumption is the opportunity to take advantage of technology and how technology will allow us to get closer to these markets. Today, technology over has overcome any physical barriers. Now, a company doesn't need to have a large uh, building to reach other markets. We know that our consumers are only a click away, and that is basically what this platform does. Today, if you look at the online advertisement, you see that any a small or medium enterprise can reach China within one or two minutes. They just need to know the tools and know how to do it. The second thing is that technology also allows us to overcome the language barrier. Now we have online translators that allow us to reach these markets. And the third point is that there's uh, companies like Alibaba, eBay, eBay, Amazon, Google, all of these companies are companies that support e-commerce and e-commerce is actually something that has made international trade become sm smaller. There are no physical barriers. Based on what Mr. Moreno mentioned, these are the three pillars on which Connect America is based. Google will give us what? We are great dreamers, so we believe in the value and the contribution that the SMEs provide for our economies. That is 30 to 50% of the GDP in our countries. And we know that we can support this initiative from two standpoints. One, obviously, by becoming the technological partner for IDB and the other partners. And two is by providing a specific benefits through our online advertising platform. Number two, it's also by assisting or supporting SMEs, helping them have that um, more efficient operation by having their uh, operations in the cloud, the Google Apps for Business. That is how they can use collaboration tools, how they can use so many other tools so they can communicate more efficiently and take advantage of the platforms. Also, opening the SMEs to the platforms of the world, among those Google Maps. And the other pillar is where we believe that we could have a greater impact is by learning, 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 or teaching, teaching, teaching. I had an SME in the past, and we are always afraid, thinking that technology is only available for large companies. That is not true. It's all about learning and learn, learning how to use these technological tools. And who better than us, who have a lot of clients and have the necessary means to reach other markets and have all the tools to enable these small and medium enterprises to reach these other regions of the world. So you'll see a lot of investment from Google in terms of a lot of hours dedicated to online training to make this SMEs more competitive. This is basically the message. We are very committed to this. We're happy to see that it's been online for four days now. There is a lot of interest. I want you to try out the platform. It's very easy. Just go to the website, www.connectamericas.com. Go in, log in. It's very easy. Just 
uh, a click away and two fields that you need to complete, that you need to fill out. It's very easy for SMEs to use it and that's the true value of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I just get a sense in the room of uh, folks with questions, please? And uh, just pop your hand up if there's something you'd like to ask, unless you're very busy right now uh, actually getting on the website and uh, trying to play with it. So. Lady at the front and lady behind. And if you could just tell us your organization and where you're from, please feel free to speak in Spanish. I'm the only person here who needs to use the translation facilities. Thank you, Sasha from Mayor Capital Financiero. I would like to know how much will it cost for SMEs to subscribe to your platform and how are you going to promote or encourage PMEs SMEs to add themselves one by one. Will you take that one or should I? We can both answer that this is made on the basis of this being a service for the SMEs without any means for profit. Part of the objective is to make the SMEs connect and grow from this. When we look at our success, it will be based on that. What you just asked: How much out of the, how many out of those four million have subscribed to this, and have they learned how to connect and finance any of the operations that they actually want to conduct? That is the spirit of our partners as well. What we're trying to do is we're trying to build a service that was not there before, and it's a platform that is broad enough or open enough for it to be an entry point uh, as our technological partners explained. It has only one field as you mentioned, is a very simple way to enter into it. I don't know if you would like to add anything. Yes, and another added value to all this as to how we're gonna generate that, mo that momentum is that one fundamental aspect is that it's self-managed. There will be reviews from the users where they're going to rate the experience that they have with a vendor, with a potential business partner, and that's going to generate that momentum for others to log in and start rating if the system has the quality that businesses need. Good afternoon, Cecilia. Rodriguez from Caribbean News Digital and Economic Caribe from Venezuela. I'm a Google user myself. I believe that we're all slaves to Google. Yes, we are. We all have to use Google and Gmail and all that. And that connection makes us be more connected, in fact, but something that happens to us as users, and I think this also translates to the SMEs, is that sometimes we don't understand how Google finds us. I mean, the, the platform will teach us how Google finds us, how we can create better rela relationships among ourselves, because we have the technological part of everything that Google knows about about us, but we don't know how Google actually works. Many people do, many people don't know how it works. And one of the great um, obstacles in Latin America is that we all want to be in Google, but we don't know how to. Will the platform teach us that? I think there are two separate issues. Google doesn't find us, first of all. It makes our lives easier by providing us information as fast as possible. And with that, I would like to say that there is a similarity to Connect America. The idea is for that SME to find what they need quickly within that huge social network. That is what we've called it, where you as a company will have your own profile and you'll be willing to promote your products for potential buyers or vendors, and that is the large similarity. The SME will come to realize that value as they use it, just like you do when you use Google as a user. So it's not how they find you, it's how we find one another. 
Correct. One question embedded in that was also the issue of uh, what you'll do to protect the privacy of the companies using that. So how will you protect their information? Because obviously they want to know that when they're interacting, they feel safe and secure on that platform. Yes. I will then provide the floor, give the floor to the IDB, but the verification process is very important. You will start making transactions, and they have invested in systems for a specific verification, just like when a user opens an email account, and there are several steps to verify that that is the actual um, use, I'd user. Yes, uh, just very quickly. In Connect Americas, we have the confidentiality and the privacy of the information has been complete, will be completely ensured. The IDB, uh, as an international organization without any profit means, uh, will not use this information for any business purposes, and we will verify the companies as well. When the user registers the SME, there will be a verification process. Thanks. And just aware that we're a little tight for time, so I'm just going to see if I can get the questions from these three folks, and then we'll perhaps roll them up and, and present them to uh, Luis Alberto and Adriana. Thank you. Lady there. Lorena Maria. Lorena Maria Farias from Latam Investor. In your presentation, you mentioned uh, advertising. Can you please uh, explain a little bit more about how SMEs can have access to it? And also, as my colleague explained, not all SMEs understand how to use the ad that you offer. Will there be a difference? The lady there and the gentleman at the front. That'd be great. Buena. Good afternoon, Andrea Jimenez from Panama America. I'd like to know how many companies have already signed up to the platform in these five days, and uh, which sector uh, of SMEs, uh, which sector do they come from that is the most interested? Uh, good afternoon, my name is Marcos Monroy from Nova Group. Uh, first, I'd like to congratulate the partners and the teams uh, for uh, their achievement, and I have a specific question. The platform, uh, is it mainly a way uh, for buyers and sellers to find each other of services, or will it also include transactions on the platform? Can somebody sell their product through the platform? Is there going to be uh, any way of being able to achieve this uh, so that the parties get to meet and can conduct transactions offline? And also, how will you measure the volume of transactions uh, reached in case there are transactions done offline? Well, I will take the advertising question first, and you can have the other two about advertising. Uh, there is a differentiating element. I think one of the challenges, and I'm uh, optimistic, opportunities uh, are education, how we can educate any small, medium, big company to use advertising tools to, uh, let's say, uh, enhance its well-being. Yes, then uh, what I would mention is that we will have many online trainings so that these companies can meet and they can find out how to use the platform, webinars, videos, etc., and uh, with uh, positive experiences. So you as an SME will be able to view the videos and learn by yourself how to use the platform. Uh, Google obviously has equipment all over Latin America to uh, support uh, and provide answers to questions. Uh, for example, how to launch an ad campaign. And uh, an added economic benefit is uh, they will have a benefit to use our advertising platform to uh, test them right away and continue using them. And regarding how many companies, we have 1,600 up to the minute. 
And uh, the sectors uh, that opened initially to the idea was the uh, professional services sector and the food sector, the food industry sector. These are the two areas in which uh, we have the 1,600 users. Regarding the framework, this is a tool that basically has been designed to facilitate connections, learning, and financing of whichever transactions result. It's not a clearinghouse, and not of that nature. And it's not something that you know we're ensuring that these transactions occur. What we're doing is the companies that sign up, they will do their due diligence, uh, which is what uh, Fabricio was talking about. Uh, we'll verify the company, where it's located. We'll have their uh, footprint, but when it comes to a purchase or investment or a sale, the actual company interested in that transaction has to conduct its due diligence in order to proceed with the transaction in question. Uh, this is just a service, a potential. Uh, it's a market research tool. It's a finance, an international finance department that has a logistical component, uh, important partners such as DHL, and that carries with it a whole uh, learning component. This is basically what Connect Americas is, a very uh, designed very openly with partners with a recognized trajectory in these areas. And the rest, um, depending on how successful we are with a platform, we might create um, added services to Connect Americas. I'm sure you probably have more questions. Doubtless you'll have time to connect with uh, both Luisa Bilto Moreno and uh, Adriana Noreña uh, through the meeting. In the meantime, thanks to both of them, thanks to all of you, and uh, here at the forum we're very excited to be part of the launch of this very exciting initiative for small and medium enterprises. So thank you very much. Thank you. Gracias. Thanks very much. Gracias. Thank you very much. Gracias.